There are so many different type of product manager jobs out there, but which one is most suitable for you based on your experience, skill set, and your interest? In this video, I'm gonna break down the top 10 different kind of product manager jobs based on the roles, responsibilities, and salaries so that you know which one you need to pursue to accelerate your product management career. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you want to achieve the same kind of success, please go to pmaccelerator.io. There's some people with very similar background just like you. Make sure to check out our Instagram stories and learn more about different people with similar experiences and how did they achieve their career success so that you're able to use the same strategy to pursue your passion as well. And if you like any of the free content we share with you today, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that we'll be notified every time we turn on new video every week. Before we start, please make sure to download the free product manager resume template which have been used by 7,000 product managers so that you're able to land job interviews much faster. If you're thinking about starting a product management career or you're already a product manager, you're trying to level up to become a senior PM or director PM, it's important to understand the 10 different types of PM jobs and identify the ones most suitable for your background is very critical. The first type of product manager job is product owner. It is the type of job that mainly work with engineers and internal teams in the agile development process and to develop the product in a cross-functional team. And product owners also need to talk with stakeholders, collect the requirement and translate into engineering facing requirement. So product owners, you can see this in the job description from Bank of America. So they're mainly working on creating the product in the agile development process and they're less focused on how can you do GTM which is go to market strategy and figure out the, the how to bring the product to the hands of customers from the marketing perspective. So therefore product owners are more towards the entry level of product management. They're more working on building, developing and defining the product. And, and less about selling the product. I made a video break down the in-depth between the differences between product manager and product owner. You can watch this video right now to understand the roles, responsibilities, and the salary differences. The second type of product manager positions are growth product manager, so growth PM. And in this job description from Jobbox, we can see this. It's a quite typical growth product manager means that you're focusing on growing the user base growing the revenue and monetize the product. That's a growth product manager. So growth product manager frequently need to work with cross-functional team in terms of other product managers within the company, but growth product managers in the very front end of product management facing like interfacing with customers and trying to figure out what their user journey, what do they like and how do they do A-B testing on their website or sort of the entire experience of customers engaging with the product so that they're able to increase the sales, the number of customers using the product. And growth product manager is also very similar to growth hacking marketing role. And actually growth hacking is more focused on from a marketing perspective, how can you grow the sales of the product. Growth product manager focus on the same mission, but using the product strategy perspective. So therefore growth product manager also needs product strategy and roadmap and being able to lead the team to execute the vision of growing the user base of a product. For example, check out this job description. Derive a critical growth product vision, strategy and roadmap for a zero to one product. Build a strong and creative backlog of ideas Focus on improving the full growth funnel and lead and guide product direction for cross-functional team of engineering, designer, analysts, marketers, and platform partners. So together, they're going to figure out how can you grow the product together. Growth product manager frequently being hired for both big tech companies like Google, Meta, as well as smaller companies such as startup. And one of the students, and actually Jenny, currently working with a startup, helped them to grow the user base. So to me, I think it's very, very fun 
uh, experience as a growth product manager. Growth product manager frequently need to run lots of A-B testing of new ideas and product features and understand what's the best methodology and do experiment to drive the user engagement. The next type of product manager is B2C product manager. Now let me define what does a B2C product manager do. So lots of time B2C product managers are mainly focused on the users, user experience, and also website design, UI, UX, and they're probably going to do lots of A-B testing how to improve the user experience as well. For example, and if you are the product, B2C product managers for uh, Instagram, you're probably working on how would you design the Instagram filters for Instagram stories, for people use the, the product, and also how would you design the layout of Instagram, how would you do content recommendation for your users. So it's a very user-centric B2C type of product manager position. And for those positions and frequency, they want you to have very strong customer empathy and have this consumer user experience. So if you are somebody who doesn't have engineering background but had experience working closely with user and knowing growth and knowing UI UX design, B2C product manager is a perfect position for you. Now let's talk about B2B product managers. So B2B product managers, they are also working on product but their customers are different. They still do customer interviews, understand the requirement and work with engineering team but B2B product managers are using a different methodology to drive the growth of the product. So B2B product manager frequently, their customers are Walmart, Target, or any big enterprise customers. So they're mainly using the interpersonal relationship, those kind of BD skills to understand the needs and desire of customers. And they frequently work closely with sales team, customer success team, and also directly conduct voice customer interviews to understand what's the best solution and product for customers. In contrast with B2C customers, B2C customers will do more A-B testing. But for B2B customers, as you can imagine, there are only a few enterprise customers, such as you sell your product to Walmart and Target. How can you do A-B testing? Only have two customers to test. So therefore, they spend less time on A-B testing, but they spend more time on customer interviews, interfacing with customers, and gaining more insight from one-on-one -on -one interactions with customers. In my upcoming video, I will discuss the top six skills for product managers, regardless of your B2B or B2C type of product managers, and make sure to subscribe to the channel and see this video upcoming right here once it's available, so that you know what the top skills you need to master right now to get into those product management positions. The fifth type of product manager position is product marketing manager. So product marketing manager is a sub-discipline of product management and it's also quite popular especially this position is suitable for people who doesn't have engineering background but has marketing background. Now what does a product manager do? Let's take a look at this job description from Microsoft. This is a remote product marketing position and they're looking for the following roles and responsibilities. And for example, product marketing manager are mainly working on analyze the market trends and understand the competitive landscape to create the strategies for your product. Product market managers still do customer persona, customer segmentation, and understand the voice of customers, but they're going to work closely with product managers so that they're able to pass the customer insight to the engineering team. Product marketing manager will also work on product strategies, product vision, and as well as creating the value proposition of your product, define the messaging of your product and understand what to say and how to say it to different kind of customer segmentations. Product marketing manager also focus on the GTM strategy. How would you be able to bring the product to the hands of customers? How would you launch your product and how would you market your product, such as, would you use influencer marketing strategy? Do you go to conferences? And what's most cost effective to reach out to many potential customers? And product marketing manager frequently also need to work with sales and marketing team. They're going to train salespeople. They're going to design the sales copy. And they're also going to work in a cross-functional team with product managers, sales team, legal team, and the marketing team together to launch the product. So therefore, product marketing manager mainly work on the front end 
of product management is actually 70% overlap between a product manager. It's just they do not work with engineers to actually develop the product. And actually currently our student Laurie is working for Amazon as a product marketing manager and herself also came from a marketing background. So therefore if a business background, you may consider how to become a B2C product manager, B2B product manager, growth product manager or product marketing manager and all of those are very good options for you guys. So what are product manager jobs are you interested? Please comment in the description. I love to learn more about your background and your interest. The sixth type of PM positions are platform PM, platform product manager. So platform product manager are focused on building the horizontal platform for other product managers within the company. So it's behind the scenes product managers who does not directly engage with the consumers, but they engage with different type of product managers within the company. Let me use my personal experience, Smart Cities as an example. When I worked as a Smart Cities product manager, there was a product platform product manager in my team. So he is designing the platform for all the product managers within the Smart Cities department. For example, I was responsible for traffic safety and someone else responsible for parking. And there's also environmental sensor product managers, there's also lighting product managers, and all of us need to have synergies among our product which can use cloud or any kind of platform integrations. So the platform product manager is building the platform as a service for all the product managers being able to use his platform so that we are able to scale our smart cities product portfolio more significantly. So product platform product manager is a transferable skills they can use for all different industries and frequently they need to understand how can they run the platform on the cloud, how can they design the scalability with the engineering team. So if you had a platform product manager position, it's likely you're not able to get fired during any recessions because Everyone needs a platform to scale their product team. The seventh type of manager is technical product manager. So technical product manager are working on certain type of technical product and technical domain. For example, there are AI product manager, there are cloud product manager, there are also data product manager, there's also IoT product managers. And I have lots of students actually already land offers as different type of product managers because they're able to work on those technical domain. For example, I have a student, he was more engineering background working on self-driving cars, but he was able to land a senior product manager as AI product manager because his past experience as a software engineer designing self-driving car is so critical in helping the new company being able to design the same kind of AI algorithm for the cloud and the data industry. So uh, if you have engineering background, you should look into is there any special technical skills that you master that can be valued for the new company as a product manager. And same thing applies to cloud, IoT, any type of other product manager position. If you do not have technical background, you can still become technical product manager. You just need to take some free courses and learn more about those skills. And I'm going to make new YouTube videos about different kind of technical courses you can take and also how to learn them more efficiently. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell button so you know when the new video is coming up. And in the description of this video, I also going to link you some free technical resources you can get started uh, immediately. The eighth type of product manager position is product operations manager. Let's use Uber as an example. What does product operations manager do in Uber? You can see them as external product manager and their internal and external position. So external product manager in this case are product operations manager. They work closely with customers. They want to understand how to optimize the customer experience. They want to make sure the delivery of the product to the customer is smooth. They also want to understand all the operations details in terms of how customers use the product. They interview customers to understand the voice of customers and write requirement and then bring all the customer needs to the internal product managers, which are people who work closer with engineering team. Uh, you can read more about the Uber operations product managers information here. For example, the job description said, define the operating structure and processes to implement on product strategy and lead a community of strategic leaders to engage meaningful impact to the business success. 
And all of those are talking about how can they work with cross-functional team and engage with customers and make sure customers are able to use and receive the product more smoothly. And currently we have another student, Jack Ren, and working for Uber, and he is doing like organizational overhaul to implement this end-to-end -end product management strategy for Uber, so I'm very proud of him. The ninth type of PM positions are APM. Associate Product Manager position. Associate Product Manager is defined for someone who's new into product management space and you have very limited work experience. If you have between zero to one or up to two years work experience, you can be qualified as Associate Product Manager. Associate Product Manager are mainly uh, for the fan companies or Moolah companies, for example, like Google, Meta, they have APM, RPM positions and uses Tesla's APM positions as an example. And Tesla APM looking for someone only have up to two years experience, zero to two years experience. But once they join Tesla, they're going to work on the product and working with senior product managers, but mainly working on certain part of feature of Tesla, but not the entire whole product portfolio. And they're still able to manage their own roadmap, but the roadmap is small compared with entire senior product manager's roadmap. And they're still able to do customer interviews and work with closely with uh, engineering team to design A-B testing, um, but it's mainly the scope of work is smaller as APM was in the company but that's the best position for someone to break in. And another quick tip is that not a lot of company has an APM title as a position. For example, Microsoft, the entry level PM position are called product manager. They never have APM title at all. And that's why some of our students who join Microsoft as a fresh graduate still have product manager title. So pay close attention to different title when you apply for these jobs. The 10th type of PM positions are hardware product managers. So product manager in hardware space, they are performing similar functions as software product managers, um, but the entire software development life cycle compared with hardware development cycle is completely different. Um, they might use some kind of waterfall methodology. They will spend more time doing verification testing of the hardware product. But I still believe that if your passion is in hardware product, you should become a hardware product manager as well. So how much are those 10 different product managers getting paid? And I filmed the video, give an overview regarding how much product manager get paid based on years experience and location. You can check out this video right here. Um, and here, let me give you a high level overview based on their job title. In, in the high level, if you work for fan companies, regardless what your job title is, what type of PM you are, you're getting paid much higher. For example, for fan companies, and any of our student landing a fan offer, they're getting paid above $300,000 per year. If you join Meta, it's like three fifty dollars for sure. If you join Google, we have people reach over $400,000 per year as a product manager. And this does not include like direct level position. Okay, this is just a product manager position in those fan companies. Now, what if you do not work for fan companies? The title and pay will be different based on the roles and responsibilities. For example, if you are product marketing manager, in general, your salary will be a little bit lower than product manager. That could be between about like 10% lower. However, if you're product marketing manager working for like Meta, your salary should be are still around 250 type of range and based on the information I just collected on uh, Glassdoor right here. So it's still high, but not as high as a product manager in the same company. If your product owner, in general product owner's salary is about 10% lower than product manager, if you do not work for fan companies. And of course, the location also varies significantly regardless uh, your title. So you need to look up my upcoming videos where I have updated salary information for different type of uh, product manager position based on the locations and salary and titles and experiences. If you are technical product manager or platform product manager, in general, your salary will be higher compared with consumer facing product managers such as B2C product managers because the position of cloud product manager in general is harder to be filled compared with B2C product manager who specialize making filters for Instagram users. Um, so it will be a little bit higher, but not significantly higher. If you are APM, your salary could range between 80 grand to 150 grand. 
If you work for fan companies and in San Francisco, you're getting paid at least $150,000 as an APM. If you are remote PM working for a startup as an APM, and that position can be around like $80,000. But we also have students receive salary for $130,000 in San Francisco working for a startup as well. So it really depends on the location and if it's remote and also the company location such as East Coast and West Coast as well. I'm going to make more video to describe all those variables in details. If you are determined and excited about getting into product management and land your dream PM job offer, you should immediately download this product manager resume template, which have been used by 7,000 product managers. I hope all of you guys are able to use the same template to achieve way more interview opportunities, eventually land your dream PM job offer. If you like any of the free content we provide today, please make sure to hit the like button and share the video and comment below and let me know what other new content you want me to film. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'm gonna see you next time, bye.